Hi guys, this is my son Severia Whitney and um, I hope you enjoy the rest of my plant vlog. You're gonna hit the like, subscribe, and of course the bell so you're notified every single time I do upload a new video. All of my social media accounts are in the description section including the type of soil or medium that I do use for this plant and what I use every time I do water her. She sits in directly in front of an east facing window but it's in the darkest side of that east facing window if that make, makes any sense because my east facing window is diagonal it doesn't really the light doesn't go through in directly where the window is at if that makes any sense so i'm gonna document like all the nicks and stuff because i just got her and this is from this is not from me taking care of her this is from before and there's like this black um dark spot like a burn spot i think um so that that kind of sucks and some other nicks and problems here um, when it's, when it does something like that, um, a lot of times it's due to, um, dehydration. Um, the plant was just not watered, um, when they needed it to be watered. So here she is. I hope this isn't like, I hope this isn't like, it's not mushy or anything. I hope it's just like a burn. So she'll just, you know keep growing and it's not rotting. It is not rot, it's not root rot because I did transplant her and I took off as much of the medium and as much as what she came with. So this is all just fresh soil from me. Um, I am going to monitor her and I will not be watering her until the top um, inch of her soil is dry dry to the touch that means when I touch it like this and if there is any like soil left then I can just tap it and it feels completely dry and there's nothing left that means she's ready to water but it has to be like an inch deep so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna monitor her and just see how deep she can handle it and how I can see that is that if her leaves start to get to be thinner, she starts to get wrinkly on the leaves, that means she needs to be watered there. So I'm going to measure like how deep she really needs to be watered. So it might be one half um, inch, three quarter, or it could be over an inch. So that's what I typically do with my sensivarius and that's how easily that they can be taken care of because they don't really need a ton of water and a tip. If you have a plant that is um, uh, prefer to be in the drier side, the type of soil that they do prefer is a succulent, cactus, palm, or a citrus type of soil. Very fast straining. I do not recommend uh, miracle Grow or Scott's miracle Grow because their cactus soil retains a lot of moisture. And that can lead to root rot. That happened to my um, old sense of area. So just be very careful with that. Um... She sits in east facing window, fast training soil, and I water her at that specific, um, that's the method that I do water her. Uh, if you guys want to chit chat about this particular plant, I've been eyeing a Whitney before and I know she's like my second, but, um, I just, I just really love this. I just kind of discovered the Whitney variety very, very recently. And of course, when I saw it, I wanted to have one. Um, so if you guys want to chit chat about this particular plant, any tips, care tips, anything to do with this particular plant you want to talk about, sense of areas, let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.